This car reaches 320 km per hour and is set to be entered in the Le Mans 24-hour race. It is the result of several prototypes built by Straka Racing, a company based in Silverstone, England, the home of Britain's motorsports. Motorsport's such a competitive industry that if you're slow in bringing something to the track, you fall behind, and once you fall behind, it's almost impossible to catch up. Like many other teams, Straka has been using 3D printing of components to try out designs and materials as quickly as possible. But the company is now producing the actual car parts using the 3D print technology, which is essentially adding layers of material under computer control to get a desired shape. So we've got aerodynamic components on the car, such as uh, front um, dive planes, the air intake, um, interior components. We found that the material properties have recently moved forward to a point where they're stiff enough and strong enough and light enough to, to function as a fully finished production component on a race car. A Dutch producer is developing smaller drones for use in everyday life, like surveying areas for fires or other problems. At the moment, working on drone-to-drone -drone communication, uh, where a drone can talk with another drone and knows where he is in the area. Uh, at this stage, uh, we're, we're developing this. Uh, for the future, uh, drones will only get smarter and smaller and will do stuff we cannot imagine now even. Movie costume makers also find the technology useful. Not so long ago, if we'd invested a lot of time in making a prototype, if we found that it didn't fit or we had to change it dramatically, you know, you're really going back massive you know, amount of weeks of work. Uh, now you can make the modifications pretty quick. Fashion designers agree. But Naomi Kampfer, creative director of Stratsys, a U.S. manufacturer of 3D printers, says manufacturing in 3D printing is still evolving. We're still waiting for uh, 3D printed materials that have the right durability and uh, the strength that uh, textile fiber allows. We have to understand that 3D printing is a layered, uh, additive layered technology. And in order to create fiber strength, you actually need to have a continuous a fiber going through the material. Today, 3D printing has come a long way from the time when it served to produce models for plastic surgeons, architects and manufacturers to only visualize the final product. Slarica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.